Okay, so welcome to another lab. Uh, this time we're focusing on Metasploit Auto PWN, which I'm going to assume means auto own, but just a slang. So first thing we have to do is let's get into our Metasploit console. MSF console. Okay, so once we've actually opened up our auto own, Let's go ahead and we're going to set up our exploit. It's going to be in auxiliary. It's going to be in oh, server. It is going to be in browser auto pwn. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and look at some of our options. So, we have some options when dealing with our auto own. So, we're going to spend some of this time actually looking at how to configure. So, if we, options, we can always look at show options. If you want more info, we can type info. They're both going to yield us pretty similar uh, items. You're going to notice, though, in the show options we need to set a l host so let's go and do that now so set l host it's the address of our listener which is our Kali machine so the next thing is we need to set a url path and to do that we type set url path and we need to give it a name oh, url not ur or uir url path and so, again, this is going to have to be something that is going to entice our target. So, let's do free food. And that will set our URL path to free food. Because, again, we want to be able to have it enticing enough for our user to click on it. So, after we set our URL, let's go ahead and run our exploit. The exploit will actually load several payloads, almost 20, to our fake web server. And so you'll notice here is our IP and a local URL. So let's go to our web server. Sorry, let's go to our actual server, not our web server. Let's go to our server. And let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Okay, so once the actual web browser open, let's go ahead and navigate to our server. 192.168.10.50. We're looking at port 8080. And our item is free food. take a second or two. Okay, so for whatever reason, our URL path was not set correctly, so we had to navigate to the one that Kali said to use. And you'll notice once I navigated there, it actually loaded our session. Back to our server, we'll get a Java warning message, that is okay. So by on Kali, it is just going through several attempts. An important thing here is it's going to respond with 13 exploits and see if any of them are successful. And so far, none of them are. So what I've done to verify is I've just typed in sessions hyphen I, and that will just let me know there is no active sessions. So none of these exploits happen to work for this particular browser. And that's actually it for uh, auto-own.